Hey Barry Saxophones, welcome back. In today's video, we're doing Accent Book 2, page number 5. This is our last accent on review page. And in the upper left hand corner, we see the fingering diagrams for the note high A and B flat. Fingering for B flat is very similar to the fingering for A. We'll use our A fingers for one and two on our left hand, but we'll add our side key with our right hand right here on the lowest side key. Use that for your B flat, B -flat fingering. Next is more syncopation in the upper right hand corner, eighth quarter eighth. I like to call this the short long short rhythm because that's what it sounds like. T ta T, short long short. A key signature with one flat, that means we're gonna be using our B flat, but it's the key signature of F major. And a time signature that has a, the letter C is the most common time. Common time or four, four time, where there's four beats or counts in each measure. DC alfine and DS alfine mean there's more music to play when you approach them. DC alfine means go back to the very beginning and play up to the fine. DS al fine, dal segno. That means go back to the sign and play from there until the word fine. It gives the song more music without having to write more music. The tempo marking for today is largo, and that means slowly, very slowly. We won't play anything largo today because we're trying to be moderate about all of our pieces for note and rhythm accuracy, but knowing that term will come in handy when you play it in a band song. Crescendo and diminuendo are symbols that mean gradually get louder and gradually get softer as you play. Notice them in your music and change your volume. Our first exercise today is all through the night. Number 12. This piece is in common time, 4-4. Four, four. We'll play the first four measures and then repeat them because of the repeat sign. Then we'll play measures 5, 6, 7, and 8. At the end of measure 8, there's a fermata, We'll hold that note longer, and then we'll DC al fine, go back to the very beginning and play to fine, which happens just to be measures one, two, three, four again. So let's get started. One, two, and one, two, ready, play. <laughs> And that was the fine, the final piece, or the final moment of the piece. Next up is number 13, Old Dan Tucker, the duet. This piece has a DS al fine. Start in measure one and play one, two, three, four, five, and measure six. Then DS al fine. Go back to the sign and play measure three and four again. This piece is in four, four time with two sharps. Those two sharps are F sharp, and C sharp. Join me, I'll play part A, or play part B for an instant duet. Short, long, short, long. This is our syncopation pattern. Ti ta, ti ta. Here we go. One, two, F sharp, go. <laughs> Try part B. I hope you don't forget that DS alfine. One, two, part B, go. <laughs> Be 
careful on part B because there's an F, uh, sorry, a C sharp in measure three, but in measure five, it's C natural. Don't let that make you make a mistake. Number 14 is the Erie Canal, an American folk song. This piece is in 4-4 time and uses the, the note B flat in the key signature. So if we see a B, we'll play it our B flat fingering. Look at the top of the page for your B flat fingering if you've forgotten it. One, two, three, four, one, ready, play. <laughs> accidentally play F sharp in the Erie Canal? If you did, go back and play that one one more time and change that F sharp to F natural using your first finger on your right hand instead of your second. Our last piece is America the Beautiful. This is my favorite piece on page five and it uses the B flat at the top of the page. The B flat is fingered like an A, two and side. That note appears in measure three. It's the first note in measure three. So be careful and play your B flat. Join me and let's play America the Beautiful. One, two, three, four, one, ready, go. <laughs> Again, that's one of my favorite ones to play. And if it was a favorite of yours, go back and play it again and enjoy the music you've made to America the Beautiful. So that finishes our video for Accent Book 2, page number five for Barry Sachs. I hope that you'll use the video again if you need more help or would just wanna play some more on your Barry Sachs. So keep practicing and when I see you next time, we'll do another page in our Accent Book 2. Keep practicing.